Hello and welcome. My name's David and this time we're going to transform this image into a painterly effect. Right, let's make a start. The first thing we need to do is duplicate the background layer twice. So I'm going to use Command J or Control J once and using Command J, Control J again. We're going to turn off the top layer. We're going to come down to the middle layer. So this is now the live layer. Now we need to invert this layer and we're going to do that by using a very simple shortcut. Press, hold down, command or control. Now press the letter I on the keyboard. There's our inverted layer. It now looks like a color negative. We're now going to go up to the blend modes. We're going to change it from normal. We're going to go down to color dodge. Bringing my cursor out, I've got the hand tool. If you press B on the keyboard or pick up the brush tool, come across now to the colors and make sure that you've got the default colors, black being the foreground color, white being the background color. Next, come over to the brush panel. Now, if you can't find your brush panel, just head up to view, come down to studio and you'll find it in here. There it is. Just put a tick in the box. That'll open it for you. Now here I've got the basic brushes, but we're going to change it. We're going to click down and there's loads of great brushes. So it's well worth experimenting, but this is the one I'm going to use oils. And when it opens, scrolling up to the top, we're going to use this one. It's the medium fiber oil. So clicking down to accept it, bringing it out, coming to the menu bar and you can see it's 72 pixels, extremely small. Right hand square bracket will make it larger, taking it right up in size to something like this. And as we got quite a large brush, you can see the way those bristles are now moving around. Opacity, 100%. Bit too much, I'm going to press 2 on the keyboard, drops it down to 20%. Flow, 60%, we'll leave that as it is. Hardness, we'll leave that as well. I think the brush is probably a little bit too big, so let's just use the left hand square bracket to take it down a touch. Right, clicking down, don't forget black is the foreground color. I'm just gonna sweep across like this to add some brush strokes to our image, coming down around this area, and then just varying the direction of the stroke as you go over it. So notice the way it begins to come a little bit darker. That's because we're using the 20% opacity, so we're slowly building it up down around this area here. And you can see there it is darker as we go over that footpath. The image itself I took at the Black Country Museum, which is just outside Birmingham here in the UK, just coming around that area like this, around this bottom barge. There's some fantastic stuff there. You've got the canal scene, you've got shops uh, of the going back to the 50s, all authentic stuff. You've got transport, you've got uh, cottages and everybody that works there dresses in the costume of the day as we can see by this lady. Right, that looks pretty good. So let's leave it for now. Right, heading over to the layers panel. We're gonna turn on the visibility of the top layer, clicking on it, making sure it's the live layer. Now it's always good practice to name the layers as we're working. So I'm going to bring my cursor over the word background. If you click down, it highlights it. I'm going to call it what it's about to become, which is a sketch. Right, let's come down to this layer. I'm going to bring my cursor again over the word background. Clicking down, we're going to call this what it is, which is painted. Right, back up to our sketch layer. Make sure it's live. We're going to come over. I'm also going to press H on the keyboard to give me back my hand tool, just in case I click down. But we're going to go to filter, detect and detect edges. Now it looks a little bit like it was detected at night because we've got uh, black predominantly and we want black where the white is, white where the black is. As we did before, we need to invert this layer. That shortcut Command I or Control I, that's Command I, Control I was the shortcut to invert it. Back over to the blend modes, we're going to change it from normal. This time we're going to use Multiply. Looks a bit strong to say the least, so we're going to come to the Opacity slider, going to drop it right the way down. Let's take it down to this sort of area here. That looks pretty good like that. We have got 46%. Uh, Let's zoom in. I'm going to use Command 1 or Control 1 to go into 100%. If we switch off the sketch layer, 
you can see the way that's working moving around to this area now I like this effect you can see that slight wave there how about we add a little bit of distortion this is the live layer we're now going to use a live filter so going up to layer coming down to new live filter layers we're going to come across to distort and we're going to go over to ripples now when this opens got the intensity 50 way too strong so let's drop this down going to take it down into this area here moving it further to the left taking it down I've just got an eye on this barge in particular 14 still way too strong dropping it down there that looks pretty good what have we got got 8.433 let's take it a little bit more there's just too far there what's this 10.27 yes we'll take that for now so I'm going to click on the cross got the hand tool I can click down we can move around I like the way it's working let's just switch it off and on see the way it just changes the lines around here makes it look more like a sketch that you've then painted over I'm not so sure I like the wavy lines here or here so let's click on the live filter layer coming over to the toolbox I'm going to press X on the keyboard so black is now the foreground color I'm going to pick up my paintbrush I'm going to reduce the size down using the left hand square bracket. Now the opacity at 20%, just a little bit too low. I'm going to press 4 on the keyboard to take it to 40%. And I'm just going to go over like this, just reducing down the effect. Coming down here, just going to go over this area lightly just to remove some of that uh, rippling effect. I know it's water, but I think I'll just take a little bit of it out. There, it looks pretty good. Looking at the front of this barge, or it could even be the back, both have got pointy bits. We've gone from this to this. I just like the way that works. And as we come around this area here, just switching it off and on, just like the way that sketch effect works with this. Not sure about this wavy effect there, so let's just click down a couple of times just to remove that. That looks pretty good. Right, using Command-0, Control-0 to go out to fit on screen. One thing while I was looking around should have stayed in using command one control one. Let's go back in. There was this area here. If I just press H on the keyboard to give me back my hand tool. Looks just a little bit too smooth, too flat. The same with the area of the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the background layer. We're going to head back up to a live filter. This time going to layer down to new live filter layer stay thank you come into noise we're going to go across to add noise now i'm going to lift this up so we can see what's going on we are using gaussian i've got monochromatic i'm just going to take the intensity up to this sort of region here you can just see a little bit of noise creeping in I'm going to press the space bar that gives me the hand tool let's take a look here yes you can just see that little bit of noise creeping in so we're taking it up to 20%. That looks pretty good. Let's accept that. Right, folding it up out of the way. Looking around the image, I've got a few sort of white areas here. I'm going to click back on the painted layer. We're going to press B on the keyboard. That gives me back the brush tool. Opacity, don't forget, we changed to 40%. So I'm going to press 2 to take me back to 20%. And you can see the way using the shortcuts to change the opacity is very quick and easy just around this area here I noticed that when we were looking at the texture in the water like this I'm going to press X white as the foreground color you see the brush has changed as well I'm just going to come over here that's going to reduce the effect just come around like that there just lightens it up as well looks pretty good like that right looking around the rest of the image like the way it's looking command zero control zero let's go to fit on screen pressing H on the keyboard to give me back my hand tool coming to the top layer of the layer stack I think I want to add one adjustment layer so let's come back up to layer we're going to come down to new adjustment layer and we're going to go down to HSL hue saturation and luminance now I've got the general one this is now being circled so let's come to the slider we're going to move it across just going to boost the colors in the image to something like this that looks pretty good at 14 percent we're going to click to accept that and there's our adjustment layer 
Let's zoom back in. I'm going to use Command 1, Control 1 to do that. Let's come to this sort of region here. Let's have a very quick run through. I'm going to press Shift on the keyboard. I'm going to click the bottom layer or painted layer. If I untick the box, that's what we started off with. There it is as a painterly effect. Let's just click on these layers. We're going to switch them off for the moment. There's our painted layer. There it is with the sketch on top. So you can see the way they're all starting to work. If I just unfold this, if I just click on this layer, pressing shift on the keyboard, there it is with and without the wavy lines, just helps to break it up. And if you just look over here, I just like the way it's affecting around this area as well. Yeah, that looks really good, happy with that. The noise, let's click on this one. And if we just switch it off and on, you can see there it is. If you think it's a little bit strong, just double click and we can reduce down the opacity. And I'm just gonna take it down to around about 80%, that'll do. So there it is, there is our finished image. There is our painted effect. Just zooming out to fit on screen. Go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and don't forget to subscribe. There's plenty more videos to come. And if you click that little bell icon, you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.